Hello, and welcome to my guide for RDO. Um, I think RDO is kind of in a eh spot. I don't think she's as good as she once was, but I also don't think she's like completely garbage like some people do. Um, she, her thing, right, compared to other guardians, is she doesn't have a big burst ultimate, but she has a bunch of okay abilities, you know? And I think that if you're good with this character, you'll you'll do just fine. Um, she's pretty pretty simple to pick up, I'll be honest. Uh, she's also one of my favorite guardians. It's just fun button mashing and smashing your face on the keyboard and doing well. But anyways, let's get into this guide. This is gonna be for the support role, right? So I got Guardian's Blessing, Healing Chalice, and then five multi pots. Um, I. I'll be honest, I don't think it's worth it to go tier 1 Gauntlet of Thebes and then like 2 health potions and 2 multi potions. Uh, tier 1 Gauntlet of Thebes pretty much sucks. Um, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy, because uh, <laughs> it's that bad. Uh, literally, this this tree, the Gauntlet of Thebes tree, pretty much sucks until you have the full item. I don't think there's any, uh, any item in that whole tree. Oh, you know what? I take that back uh what's it called the the tier two of stone of gaia um i don't know what it's called off the top of my head but anyways so let's get into this guide right so guardian's blessing you need that as a support uh you are aggressive i could see a, a reason to get warrior's blessing but if you go warrior's blessing you're missing out on some s sustain as well as um the bonus gold that you need as a support you know um, and then I got Shoes of Focus here. Uh, you are a stance switcher, so having your abilities up more often is always super nice. And then here I went Stone of Binding instead of uh, Gauntlet of Thebes, and that's because, what is it? I believe it's four out of RDO's six abilities can proc Stone of Binding, and then her passive is also essentially Stone of Binding. Um, it's pretty much, her passive is pretty much as you damage your enemies more, their protections are reduced. So I think Stone of Binding is pretty good on her. I think she is probably the guardian that should always get it. And then Gauntlet of Thebes, it's Gauntlet of Thebes, you need that to help your team. Um, next we have Relic Dagger, it's just such a good item. It's so good to have your supporting relics up more, off, more. like Frenzy or like Sprint or like Horrific Emblem like or Shell, it's just nice to have them up more, you know? Some more damage options, right? Void Stone and Tyrannical Plate Helm. I think Tyrannical Plate Helm's a great item, um, even on a support. I think it's very, very powerful to be able to just push minions. Um, interesting how it's not in the little box, the icon, but whatever. Um, Void Stone. Oh, wait, are none of them? Oh, no, none of them are. Oh, that's tragic. Um, that's really tragic. Some more offensive options, Pythags is here, giving that aura to your team is really nice, although your mage will probably pick this up, right? Pridewind is also here, and you're like, but Zach, that's a defensive item. And then you're like, oh wait, it has that shield that explodes, that's probably why. No, it's actually there for the cooldown reduction. Um, having more cooldown reduction is more damage, because your abilities are coming up more often. So going something, going like these items, I think is pretty good. Um... And then more defensive items. Obviously, these two auras are great for your team. Um, high level, maybe not. I don't know. But definitely in something like Arena or, you know, if you're just playing casual conquest with your boys, uh, it's definitely nice to have this. It gives them, it gives your squishies a good amount of defense and HP regen and mana regen. It's always nice. And then if you get this, you'll never run out of mana as RDO. Um, cause if you, if you just go this, you're gonna be running out of mana on RDO. But if you get Heart Word in there, you're never going to. Um, uh, Mantle's here, cause it's Mantle, it's just a good item. Uh, Emperor's Armor's here, because I think you can probably tell I fucking love Emperor's Armor. And I think that you're trolling if you don't get it ever. Um, I do understand that there's some in instances where you don't necessarily need Emperor's Armor in Conquest, but... Uh, I just think it's too good to pass up. What? You're altering the map. What? How is... You're, you're changing the objectives. Like, I get that it doesn't help in a team fight, but oof, I think it's just a good item. So, relic-wise, right? These, these are the ones, right? You could get maybe med if you really wanted to. I'm not opposed to it. 
Uh, Blink is also an option on her. She does have an instant stun, which is always nice. Um, Aegis, I guess, I could see, but you're the support, so you don't really want that, right? But if you go Emperor's Armor, Belt of Frenzy, Frenzy and then Relic Dagger, and upgrade Belt of Frenzy, you can just burn towers. And especially if you get Tyrannical Plate Helm. I know I talked about it in my Fafnir video, but, like, I think it's just such a good combination. Uh, Horrific Emblem's kind of trash until you upgrade it. Everyone is always like, well, Horrific gets countered by Sprint, and you're like, well, it does, but if you upgrade it, their attack speed is reduced by 25%, and then they deal 15% less damage. Like, 15% less damage, yeah, you can still kill people with that applied to you, but that still is quite a bit of reduced damage, you know? Um, so abilities, right? You're gonna get the one, and then the two, or not the two, the three, you know? Uh, I start the one just because uh, I won't be clearing the way with my dash, although... You could start the one, the two, the three. Jesus Christ. It's up to you. Um, you do whatever you want. Um, I always start the one, but the three is also an option to start with, you know? And then whichever one you don't get, you're going to get next, right? And then at level three, I put a point into the one. Uh, for this guide, we're going to be maxing the one. You can also max the three, but that's also your escape. So, And your, your, your one and druid stance gives you healing uh, for the amount of allies you hit with it, and that increasing that's just always good, you know? Uh, level 4, I got Entangled Vines, or, and was it Ferocious Roar? It's up to you. Weird how it doesn't have, oh, maybe because it's too long, that's probably why it's not there. Anyways, um, it's really up to you, whichever one you want. Wait, what did I, what? I didn't even say anything that was, anyways, um, I'm glad you can see that I've gone crazy because of college, so that's fun. Um, so level four, right? You can get this, your two, or you can put another point into your three. It's up to you. Three's more damage. To your two is just really CC, which I think is strong no matter what. And level five, you're gonna put a point into your alt because it does give you mana regen, and it gives you movement speed. And I think that's you really need the mana regen on her, because uh, you are a stance switcher. So having that mana regen is always nice. Right, and then, like I said, maxing the one, and then putting, you're gonna max the two, the three after, and then you're gonna max the two, and then you're gonna max the all, because you're forced to. Um, I think RDO, stance switcher wise, is probably the most new player friendly. Um, I'm trying to think of any, like, tips or tricks for her. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything, even though she's one of my diamonds, I can't think of anything. Um, oh, don't be a bitch with RDO. Um, you are meant to go in and disrupt people and do damage and then be obnoxious. Um, she's not really meant to just sit back and, like, wait for the enemy team to come to her, right? Like, if you don't play RDO aggressively, you're going to end up losing odds are. Or you're going to get carried. That's, that's just what's gonna happen. She really wants to be up in their face um, which is why I see her more as a solo laner, but I did her as a support this time. Maybe I'll do a solo guide for her next, next time we see RDO, but I think she can, she can really, she's better as a solo, really. She has good sustain, but even as a support, when she is in that support role, she does want to, like, be aggressive while in lane, right? Like, if you pick RDO, you, you want to try and kill them early and start snowballing and taking that lead, because when RDO's ahead... RDO is scary. RDO can solo carries and stuff by herself when she's ahead, even if she's, like, full defense. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, what else? I, I can't think of anything else, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, any requests, also feel free to leave them. I love doing them. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!